We know thunder and lightning typically associated with spring storms, but guess what? You could also hear rumbles of thunder in the winter. Meteorologist Halen Wilhite joins us to explain thunder snow this morning. Halen? Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing that does happen, although very rare. Again, we all know thunderstorms in the springtime, lots of thunder and lightning. Sometimes we do get thunderstorms in the winter, although not as common as our spring counterpart. But did you know you can also get thunder snow or at least thunder when it's actually snowing? It's actually a, a really cool thing that happens, but again, very rare. It only occurs during special, uh, at least special events or even some pretty powerful system. So how does it actually happen? We all know thunderstorms. They have to have those key ingredients. You need instability, moist air, mo warm moist air combining all together and something to help lift uh, those uh, mechanisms all together. And so when you're talking about snow systems, we know snow systems are there's a lot of cold air you have to deal with, especially down at the surface where we're at below freezing. And that's why that snow falls uh, is not as rain or freezing rain. It's just snowflakes. But when you get the uh, kind of active setup. Uh, so you get these little shallow layers of some warm air that's going to continue to rise up above uh, that very cold layer of air. And so once it gets up and above that cold air, uh, it starts to get more unstable and a little bit of that lifting mechanism. And so uh, when you get enough instability above all that cold air, it leads enough. Uh, it leads to another enough electrical charge for separating. And so that's what causes all that lightning. However, this is not a cloud to ground lightning. This is more of a cloud to cloud lightning and so you only really just hear a low rumble of thunder associated with thunder snow not so much those loud booms associated with those springtime thunderstorms again these things only occur during lake effect snow events bomb cyclones nor'easters and very intense blizzards so it's not out of the question kansas can get some thunder snow but it is pretty rare for it to actually happen